गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज एंड वेलकम टू मोटो बी येस इट्स अ न्यू डे नॉट ओनली फॉर अर्स ह्यूमन बींग्स बट ऑल्सो फॉर द इंटायर ऑटोमोटिव इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज द ई वी रेवल्यूशन इज यर अ लॉट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चर आर क्यूइंग अप विद द इलेक्ट्रिक वेहीकल्स एंड टाटा मोटर्स डजन वॉन्ट टू बी लेफ्ट आउट एंड दे आर हियर विद द नेक्स ऑन ई वी नाउ द नेक्स ऑन ई वी कुड पॉसिबली बी द फर्स्ट इंडियन इलेक्ट्रिक कॉम्पैक्ट एस यू वी दैट कुड बी कंसिडर्ड बाय लॉर्ड ऑफ मास मार्केट कस्टमर्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड सी हाउ द कार इज Now the electric Nexon is based on the facelifted version of this compact SUV. Now the Nexon was first launched in 2017 and it always came across as a very good looking car and it looked quite different from the regular compact SUVs in the segment. Now with this update the car looks so much more attractive and stylish and it also looks more proportionate. Now at the front you get a new bumper with new fog lamp housings, new headlamps with projectors and of course a new grille. This car also complies with the new pedestrian safety norms. The face of the car looks more squarish now compared to the curvy design of the pre-facelift car and I think this new design adds to the overall character. The side of the car looks largely unchanged except the fact that you get blue accents on the electric version compared to white or silver accents on the regular IC variants. Along with that, you get new 16-inch alloy wheels. Changes at the rear are minimal, but you do get a new bumper and redesigned tail lamps. Now the Nexon Electric is actually a very good looking car and this version comes with three colors. Now the cabin of the Nexon EV feels very familiar, very user friendly and very ergonomic. Yes, compared to the regular Nexon, there are quite a few changes like a brand new steering wheel which is similar to the one on the Altros and also a new instrument cluster. Now this instrument cluster comes with a part digital display and a part analog speedometer. The display on the instrument cluster shows a variety of information related to the EV. It also displays a graph which shows you the kind of regenerative braking that you have done. The display also shows the amount of battery and range left. Along with that, there are markings for regenerative braking, economy and power. The quality of the display is very good and crisp. The layout of the dashboard feels similar to the one on the regular Nexon, but over here you get piano black inserts with blue accents. You get a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system from Harman and the sound quality is very good. The infotainment system also offers Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. The Tata Nexon EV is available in three variants: XM, XZ Plus, and XZ Plus Lux. Now we are driving the XZ Plus variant, but the XZ Plus Lux variant that we'll show you later comes with a sunroof, leather seats, automatic headlamps, and automatic rain sensing wipers. All variants of this car come with two airbags as standard, along with ABS and EVD. Tata Motors is also offering connected car features with the Nexon EV. You can download the Z Connect app on your phone and pair the car with your phone. With this, you can control a variety of functions like you can remotely switch on the AC, the lights or the horn. You can also remotely lock or unlock the car. Along with that, the app shows you the live location of the car and you can also set custom speed, geofence and time fence limits. If you want, the app will also give you a detailed diagnostic report that will tell you about various parameters of the car. The connected car feature also has an SOS functionality. So in case something untoward happens, you can always use the SOS feature to call for emergency. Tata Motors is also offering a smart band with this car, so you can use this while working out or while swimming and you can lock and unlock the car and even start it with this key. Now, in terms of seating comfort, the Nexon EV is exactly the same as the regular Nexon. Usually in electric cars when the battery is placed under the floor the rear floor is positioned a bit higher which leads to a higher seating position for the rear passengers but in the case of the Nexon EV Tata's engineers have managed to keep the level of the floor the same as the regular IC Nexon talking about the front seats well they offer a good amount of comfort and support and even the driving position is very good outward visibility is pretty decent but the A pillars over here are very thick and they create a blind spot The rear seat has enough space for two full-size passengers and one child. However, if you try to fit three full-size adults at the rear, the space might feel a bit cramped. 
because of the sloping roof line of the car, the headroom at the rear becomes a bit limited for taller passengers. This car has a boat capacity of 350 liters and the ground clearance is 205 millimeters. Now, when you buy the Tata Nexon electric, you get a regular charger. Now, if you use the regular charger to charge this car, 20% to 100% will take around 8 hours of charging time. However, if you use a fast charger, then 0% to 80% will take roughly 60 minutes. Tata Motors has also tied up with Tata Power and they have set up 300 charging stations across major metro cities. Yes, if you take a Nexon EV to the Tata charging station, you also get some preferential treatment. In the regular Nexon, you might have seen a 1.2 litre petrol engine or a 1.5 litre diesel engine under this hood. But over here, things are completely different. The Nexon Electric comes with a 30.2 kWh battery and that is mated to a permanent magnet synchronous motor. Now, this motor comes mated to a single speed transmission which is also noiseless. Start the car and it is completely silent. No vibrations, no noises whatsoever and performance is also very good. Now, because this is an electric car, the torque is available right from the word go. Now, when you drive the car in the regular drive mode, the power delivery feels very linear and also a bit relaxed. Now, this mode is actually very nicely calibrated and this car feels very nice to drive in the city as well as on the highways. The motor has enough punch to overtake other vehicles also. But if you are in the mood for some aggressive driving, you can always shift to the sport mode. Now, the difference between the regular drive mode and the sport mode is worlds apart. The sport mode feels so much more aggressive and the car just darts ahead. We recommend driving the car in the regular drive mode itself and use the sport mode only on the guards or on the highways. 0 to 100 km per hour comes up in 9.9 .9 seconds and the claimed battery range is 312 km. However, one thing to note here is that the range of the car completely depends on how you drive and also how much energy you can generate from regeneration. Now, the Tata Nexon has always been known for its stupendous ride quality and the Nexon EV is no different. Yes, it offers a very compliant ride, but this car feels a bit stiffer than the regular IC Nexon. Yes, it offers a lot of composure at high speeds and low speeds alike. Body roll is well under control and the center of gravity of this car has been reduced by 40 mm. The steering of the Tata Nexon EV feels very light at city speeds and weighs up very nicely on the highways as you increase the speeds. The feedback offered from the wheel is also quite decent. In terms of braking, the car comes with discs up front and drums at the rear and the stopping power is pretty decent. motor and the battery of the Tata Nexon EV are IP67 rated. These have a warranty of 8 years or 1,60,000 km. I feel the Tata Nexon is indeed a very good car for people who are looking to purchase their first electric vehicle. Yes, the claimed range is 312 km but the real world figures might be different depending on your driving conditions and also the way you drive. Now, if you are driving this car out on the roads and the battery runs out of juice, Tata Motors will provide roadside assistance with fast charging availability. The Nexon EV is expected to be priced between Rs 15 to Rs 17 lakhs ex showroom and at this price point, it does make for an attractive buy. Yes, it offers good looks, lots of features, decent comfort and obviously a lot of practicality. The performance of this car is also punchy enough for day-to-day -day driving and it won't let you down at all. So, if you are looking to make the move from IC engines to an electric car, the Tata Nexon EV should definitely be on your consideration list. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Do hit the like button, share the video with your friends and subscribe to the Motorbeam channel. If you have any doubts about any car or an electric vehicle, do let us know in the comment section below.